Hey guys, welcome to a new video today. I'm joined by my beautiful girlfriend, Marielle, who is here to talk about a new opportunity to make money selling print on demand online on a new platform. Maybe it's not new to you because we did actually figure out that people knew about it already. Some people, at least at the farmer's market. Uh, but yes, we're going to talk about FAIR today. So Marielle, welcome. Thank you. I'm super excited to talk about FAIR as I've experienced some good success with it. So excited to share. Right. So it's been working for you uh, in multiple ways. I guess let us know how you first got started selling on FAIR because it wasn't print on demand initially, right? No. So I actually started FAIR for my dog business because it is a wholesale platform that helps to link new retailers with non-franchised smaller brands such as myself, which has been a huge benefit to my side company. But, you know, I started to play around with different things such as print on demand on the fair platform as just as like a case study to see how it worked. And it is actually working almost too well to the point where it's actually giving me some extra tasks to do, but in a good way. So that's one thing worth noting that we will touch on more later, but there is no automated order fulfillment yet, right? No. So a little bit of manual work there, but uh, it's worth noting, like you used fair and you are now carried in multiple retail stores in multiple countries, right? Oh, yes. All over the world. So FAIR is really incentivizing people, both retailers and sellers, to be on their platform because they are offering things such as free shipping or reimbursed shipping, which actually works very well in the print-on-demand space because if not, you would be out of the money for the shipping part of the the wholesale print on demand orders, but also they do fair markets, which they will match any discounts that you give. So they're really incentivizing people to get on the platform and to buy on the platform. And they do this in so many different ways. Whoever created their brand is a literal genius in terms of getting an influx of people onto their website and platform. Yeah, it's been really awesome uh, with everything you've told me. I actually signed up recently. I finally got around to signing up. Uh, but they do seem like hyper aggressive with their growth strategy, meaning they're incentivizing sellers and buyers to be on the FAIR platform. And for anybody that's just learning about FAIR for the first time, like I think the real draw, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that they want people to do like wholesale transactions. So it's not just like another Etsy, right? Or Amazon. Yeah, you're not selling one unit. You are selling at wholesale pricing. And we'll get more into the pricing later into this conversation with it comes to the print on demand but it's really moving massive quantities of things now some people do sell one unit at a time and if you have an approved seller or buyer account you know i sometimes go shopping for myself on fair at the wholesale pricing but it is really intended just to get more orders in and help people grow their small businesses cool well i know you queued up a uh, quick presentation do you want to uh, screen share and kind of like walk us through maybe an introduction to fair you you briefly touched on it but um kind of let us know like about what it's like to sell on fair the sign up process anything yeah, like that absolutely. all right cool let's see the uh, presentation all right it's on screen now okay so this is how you sign up for fair you're just going to go to sell on fair or you guys can use the link i'm sure ryan will put a link down below yes um, link at the top of the description use marielle's invite link <laughs> It takes a couple of minutes to sign up. And when signing up, you know, sometimes people get waitlisted. And the reason for this is because they want to see that you're already selling. So if you fib your or fudge your numbers a little bit on your application, that's more of a shoe in to get in because they want brands that are going to sell on there. Um, so it's really, really simple, really streamlined, very, very easy. Yes. And just to touch on what you just said, I, when I signed up, like, I never like, I don't want to go through the whole signup process. I, I don't know. Like sometimes those videos do well, but I, I hate doing them. Cause it's like a lot of times it's just like, I answer the questions that hit next. Right. Yeah. But when they would ask questions, like, are you carried in any stores? Like they don't ask you what stores you're carried in and you can either hit zero or you can hit like one to 10 or 10 to 20, whatever, whatever. Just don't put zero, put one to 10. Like I just did that. And I got approved to sell on fair in like five minutes. So yeah. anyways. Yeah. And in addition to that, the nicest part of FAIR is the fact that they don't allow big franchises. So you won't be seeing Disney on there that eat away sales both on Etsy and on Amazon. So it's really kind of opening up a new market for real people to sell their real items, which is really nice. 
Yeah, to a lot of, a lot of small businesses too, right? Yeah, small businesses. So this slide just again just reiterates what Fair does. It sells new wholesale to new wholesale customers and helps secure different payments. And they have different payout strategies that you can go through when you go through Fair. And some of them have more benefits than other, like Net30 or Instant. And you have been you've you've sold already um some of your dog products to all of those countries listed right like us canada and europe yes and the main benefit of doing that currently on their platform is that they are covering shipping costs so it doesn't hurt me at all to sell product in ireland or in germany i mean at the end of the day it might help my brand recognition i'm not sure but at the end of the day i'm still moving massive units of my product which is what i intended to do and there i'm doing it at a basically pure profit cost because i don't have cost in shipping or any of those other big expenses that other platforms would cause you to have yeah and you're gonna have to explain it in a uh, print on demand context to everybody yeah. too because <laughs> the dog the dog company is one thing the print on demand stuff oh, yes i totally get that all right. So as you guys can see, if you go to fair and type in sweatshirts, t-shirts, you can see that there are a bunch of print on demand sellers already on here. Some of them are marked as top selling shops. And I know from my personal experience, when things start to pick up and you start to get like ranked on a good listing, you'll be getting orders every couple of days or every day as in my instance right now for the print on demand stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to sell my actual business products more so than the print on demand. But it, it's been an amazing case study and the profit can be anywhere up to like 50 to 60 bucks per order depending on what you set your minimum order quantity to so as you can see though there are already clearly print on demand sellers on here these are common etsy listing mock-up images that you would use on your own etsy shop so this is just a screenshot of some of my orders, clearly not all of them. And as you can see, in the last couple of days, I have made orders ranging from $200 to $300. All of these are orders for the print-on-demand sweatshirts. Now, I only listed a couple of products, just a couple of very well-done, high-end products that I thought I had an edge in and that also go with the flow of my base company. So dog products, doggy kind of things. And Wait, reiterate that. Good good niche, good design, and uh, a good like product mock-ups, right? Like, yes. All those good things product. that matter. So no coincidences. Well, yeah, and I'm taking the main product listing images that I use on Etsy and just putting them back on FAIR. And the way FAIR does it is actually really nice. When you are uploading to their platform, when it comes to apparel, they have certain linking things. So if you're linking colors, you know, it makes it easier for the viewers to understand what they're buying, how many they're buying. And I know I'm not doing a great job explaining the back end version of it, but it's very self-explanatory once you start listing in the apparel section. And the way they use do their user interface makes it extremely easy. I think almost easier than Etsy and easier than Amazon Merch to upload to. So that was a real nice benefit. When I first started doing it, I was like, oh my God, they made it so easy. But as you guys can see, I made several orders over the last couple of days. Now, there are benefits and downsides to selling print on demand on FAIR. And one of the benefits is that you don't have to pay for your own shipping or you can apply to have your shipping reimbursed. Now, this is really easy. It takes two seconds. When someone places an order, you can either get your shipping directly through FAIR, but when it comes to print on demand, you're already having to pay Printify, Printful, or My Designs for the shipping to go to that customer anyways. So I just click re get reimbursed for shipping. You plug in the tracking number and boom, they reimburse you. So that makes it really easy. Now, pricing your products is one of the most difficult things I have come to find on FAIR in the print on demand realm. And this is because FAIR has two different methods of purchasing. You can either send someone directly to your shop or someone can find you organically on the FAIR platform. Now, if you send someone to your direct shop, there is a 0% commission fee for that store that is buying your product. Now, the reason they sometimes have commission fees, such as if FAIR helps that store find you to buy your products, is because it's going to the buyer in the form of a discount. So it incentivizes buying. So you have to know to price your products above what you would think is correct and above what you would have to price in 15% plus $10 into your pricing 
and you don't have to worry about shipping. If that so that could potentially, right, right. So whatever, you know, if you price that break even, you could potentially lose money on a sale because if a sale takes place through fair, yeah. through the marketplace, they will take 15% plus $10, right? So if you price that just break even, you get a sale organically through the marketplace, that's going to be your loss right there, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I've made this mistake before, you know, towards the end of this presentation, you can see that there is an order for a 0% commission. Now on that order, which was a print on demand order, I made about 60, maybe even 70 bucks profit from that order. Now, towards the top or in the middle, there is an order that had a 15% commission and a $10 fee. Now, if I did not have Printify Premium, which is another thing that you must have in order for this to be extremely profitable, uh, I almost would have lost money, but it came out to be that I made $14, which for me isn't enough. So after that, I decided to go in and increase my wholesale pricing to hedge against that 15% plus $10 commission that they are giving to stores to incentivize them to buy. Right. And it's worth noting that like fair is meant to attract buyers because they say, Hey, you know, you're going to connect with smaller scale distributors that offer wholesale discounts. So you can't just be on here pricing your sweatshirts at like 40 bucks, right? Cause it's meant to be like a wholesale and you're, you're supposed to have these, you know, the other side of the equation, the buyer, feeling like they got a good price so that they can stock it in their retail shop or whatever they own and have markup for themselves. So keep that in mind. You can't price too high. I also wanted to just mention, cause I said this to you, uh, I ran it by you as an idea. We haven't tried it yet, but like guys on Printful, you can use the sample order function and you can redeem your Printful uh, coupon points too for uh, extra sample orders. And when you get a sample order in Printful, you get 20% off plus free shipping but you can't add a bunch of addresses. So you can't just be like adding all your customers' addresses and getting them, you know, shipped out at like minimum floor cost. But like for fair, theoretically, you could have Printful send you using sample orders, you know, super cheap, 20% off free shipping, and then you ship it out, get your shipping through fair. And uh, in theory, that could potentially work as well, but it's double shipping. So double delivery time. Yeah. Now, I, just as an example, I sell my print on demand things in sets of 12. Now you can really set your minimum order quantity to whatever you would like it to be. But for, in order for it to be worth it for me, I wanted to sell more units, you know, to make more profit because it isn't my main business. It's my side business. And it was a test. Now on average, I had my sweatshirts wholesale priced for about $21.99. Now, if someone comes in and finds your store through fair with that 15% and $10 commission and the fair will reimburse you for shipping. So you don't have to worry about that. Your profit is only going to be about 20 bucks. So you will see other print on demand sellers on that website pricing their wholesale pricing around $24.99. And they probably have printify premium while doing this. And then their retail pricing up to $40 because some of these shops that right. are taking on your product are like boutique shops. You know, you might go to like a, a cute little town and you go to like a little boutique shop and find a nautical sweatshirt and it's going to be priced at about $40. So, I mean, the price difference between what I sell my sweatshirts on on Etsy versus fair don't really differ that much. It's not actual wholesale pricing. Do not lose money on bulk orders through fair because there's a potential, like I said, some of my orders, I make a 60 or $70 profit. And then some of them, I make a $20 profit. And that's all dependent on what you price your products at, you know, the reimbursed shipping, as well as if your store is being discovered by someone through fair, or if you're sending someone directly to your store to purchase. Now, something you can always do as an added element is in that listing, you could say, please shop this product through my direct link and include your direct link in the description of the product. And that won't always work, but in the instance that it might work, you will make an extra 50 or 60 bucks on a order of 12 units. Now, clearly your profit is based on how many units you sell, what price you sell it at, and if they find your store directly or not. Aside from that though, it has been so convenient and so easy and very streamlined. But I do recommend having a premium version of some kind of production partner so you can get your base costs lower. And 
increasing your price to literally normal Etsy pricing for your products. And then just saying that the suggested retail price is almost double because that's another thing that I found unfair. Most of the retailers that are buying want to see a like 2x profit or is it 2x or 1x profit? Like, well, they always want more. They'll take a 3x if it's product the, if at it's $20. Available. They want to be able to sell it to someone for 40. So they want, right. you know, double that. So it just, those are the best tips that I can give you guys. Cause like I said, I almost had an order where I lost money on. Um, and thankfully I was just like, nope, I'm going to print to buy premium. And I ended up making a bunch of money. And the fact that you can choose your own shipping and they'll reimburse you is just another incentive that fair is doing so that they can help build the platform. You know, I do the net 30 and most people that are doing the net 30 are leaving their money in fair and fair is using that leftover money, you know, to cover shipping. So for the first year that you're on the platform, fair covers your shipping anywhere you sell. It doesn't matter where. So that's extremely nice. Now, the another huge point that I have to like emphasize is your first three weeks on fair are the most pertinent three weeks you, you will have on fair because at fair will give you different little things that you can do to stay on the new and like new arrivals or trending page for extra couple weeks, such as setting your MOQ to $100. Having a lower MOQ makes people less scared to buy a product from you for the first time ever. So there's different tips and tricks that FAIR will walk you through in order to stay in that new section. When I was in that new section, I was making multiple orders per day, whether on my Healthy Hound products or on the POD products. So just making sure you're following the best practices and FAIR will, like I said, will walk you through it and handhold you that first couple of weeks will help you get at least ranked or, you know, top seller. And once you're a top seller, it's like game over. You are always on the front page. You are always at the top row. So those first three weeks, extremely important. Very cool. Did you have anything else on the slides? I'm not sure. actually. <laughs> I think you had one more, right? Didn't you have one more about the order? Oh yeah. I think I would just wanted to show the difference between the 15% commission plus $10 versus a 0%, but I pretty much talked through it. So, and you guys can see it on the slide that we looked at together when looking through all my orders, mm -hmm. some of them yeah, have 0% there. and some of them have a 15%. Yeah, and I so think the- It helps ahead. buyers and sellers. Yeah, I think the big draw for most people watching is gonna be that, you know, it's just getting our products discovered uh, in, in another way, right? Just another income stream, not as passive as what we may like, but, it is wholesale, so room for big margins, and um, you know who knows what fair grows into. We know that they are very aggressive with their growth strategy. Me and you were both like super impressed with how they're just running the. You know, we we said, you know, if we can get anybody from fair to talk to us, uh, we would just love to meet them because it's so impressive how they're they're going about like just spreading the word, incentivizing you to spread the word. You know, you work at the farmers market, you were going around talking to everybody about fair, trying to get them to sign up with mixed results, but. Um, Oh yeah. It's been, yeah. it's been cool. And it's free to be on too. You, there's no startup costs associated with being on fair. So it's like, they are actually doing everything to help both buyers and sellers and really just expand big, small business, which is like the antithesis of like Amazon and Etsy. Just saying I love exactly. them both, but I love fair more. Fair is my all time favorite. Just, just wait till fair gets publicly listed and BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street buy up all of their shares. And all of a sudden, fair will turn into Amazon and Etsy, keeping the boot on the small seller's neck. But well, until then, no guys, you know, take advantage. No franchises. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, everybody uh, sign up using Marielle's link at the top. Also, she is on YouTube talking a little bit about, you know, print on demand and her journey. So that'll also be linked underneath the fair invite link. Marielle, anything else? No, for the most part, I think I covered everything. Just get on fair and try it out. It, there's no cost associated with it, so it can't hurt to try. Just price your products properly. All right. Awesome. Thank you for doing this. Guys, let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out her channel, and sign up for fair. We'll see you guys at the next video.